It was Coach Cooper after a big win, comeback win in overtime over Charleston. Coach, got some water on the uh, suits. Yeah. Talk about this win and the uh, right, kind of, right kind of shower, and it's appreciated for, for them showing me that love. But just just love this group. The fight was incredible. Um, you know, we challenged them pretty hard at half. It was kind of short and sweet and got them back out there. But I just felt like we weren't playing our brand of basketball. And wow, did we change that. Um, and, and I've said it multiple times, but when we share the basketball, it is pretty, it is fun to watch, it is fun to coach, but more importantly, did we start defending? We started making them take a lot tougher shots. I do think we got into their legs a little bit, um, you know, especially with their post players because they got to play up and down and we got the game up and down like we needed to. Um, but the buy-in was really, really good and some clutch shots, some clutch free throws, and again, just sharing that basketball so really really proud and for our for our, everybody i'm happy but for our veterans they, they got a little bit of what they needed after that first time around with them big stretch of games right now uh, just beat ranked opponent uh west virginia state charleston's receiving votes just talk about this stretch and getting these two big wins four game win streak now for you yeah yeah no really excited about four game run streak really excited because we're playing the way we're supposed to play I think that's good because we're hitting our stride in, in February, which it's it's winning time. It's it's now or never for us, and, and we're in a position where we're a fringe team right now, and we know that big, you know, big picture wise. But all we care about is, um, for us, we feel like we just want a championship today. And then I told them, you know, let's celebrate it, let's enjoy it. Um, they can have tomorrow off, even though they always have it off. Um, but again, just unbelievably proud of them, and, and it's it's so fun to watch this group when they play that way. Battled all the way back, trailed by as many as 18. Um, took the lead late in the fourth quarter, and then went, ultimately went to overtime and outscored them by 10. So, you know, what was that message after the fourth quarter, still with five minutes to play? That we earned it, that we earned it. We Again, we got back to doing what we needed to do, executing our game plan, taking control while playing with pace. And, and in turn, we earned the opportunity to be in that spot. You know, we almost get the look we wanted at the end of regulation. Um, and, and that would have been huge, obviously. But you take it to overtime. Um, and, and again, when you earn something like that, I think it makes you feel a little bit more. Um, but they, again, they showed that relent relentlessness and that fearlessness. And they hit some big shots. Uh, but the defense and the rebounding is where it was key. Yeah, speaking of the defense and overtime, I mean, some big blocks by Ari Manze and then just outscored him by 10 major free throws. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, we checked a lot of the boxes of what you want to see in an overtime. And, and again, that's a testament to them, their buy-in, their execution. But uh, most importantly, them staying together, leaning into their leaders and finishing that thing. And then last thing, the, it was a total team effort, but uh, talk about the three that just joined me, Ari, uh, Sonia, and Corinne. Yeah, you talk about Ari's double-double. Um, 12 rebounds was huge, and we, and we kind of came at her at halftime. And, and Ari's somebody that wants – accountability and she thrives in it and she responded um you know Sonia had a really big game really big game and and that just goes to show that the more and more that she buys in the more and more she's getting rewarded for it but 10 for 10 from the free throw line is unbelievably cr clutch and and Corinne shot the ball unbelievably well but again can't say it enough it's the other stuff she did um and and hats off not only to those three but the people following each other through that and Sonia really leaning into her teammates and her veterans which she needs to continue to do all right, Coach, congrats on a big Thank win. You. Good luck down in Glenville. Yeah, appreciate you.